Hello, my name is Catherine Sloshington Smythe, and this is Fifty Shades of Bass, Chapter 3. Wow, that's quite an erection, remarked Tiesto. Thanks, replied Van Buren. It took ages to get it up. They both stood back and admired the enormous stage and lighting rig Armand Van Buren had erected on the Hove playing field for the seventh annual trance picnic. Everyone's looking forward to your performance tonight, Tiesto, especially me, hinted Van Buren. It's been the talk of the town. Well, I plan to go in pretty hard tonight, winked Tiesto. I'm sure you will. The pair strolled casually along past the various keg stalls, burger vans and butt plug vendors. Their hands brushed together a couple of times, and Van Buren felt a warm feeling in his belly, akin to having double-dropped a couple of super-strength E's, which coincidentally, he had. Now Tiesto was never one to dilly about when it came to doing drugs, and was always the first one on the gear and the last one to bed. He'd been dabbing ketamine into his japs eye all day in ever-increasing doses. It was a bizarre form of tantric sex, and again, coincidentally, ended in exactly the same fashion. Hello, boys! A cheery voice came from behind an inflatable angel. Backs to the wall! I'm coming in! The lads let out a shriek as an inebriated Steve Angelo leapt out from behind the inflatable and grabbed them both by the balls. He was unshaven and dressed as a Power Ranger. By the power vested in me by the trance, I sentence you both to a line of bath salts in my trailer. Oh, go on then, groaned the pair, and they trudged off to Steve's trailer, hoping that if they were lucky, they might be able to slip off before he starts screaming and attacking his own reflection. The smell inside the trailer was like nothing they'd come across before. It was as if Angelo had been stockpiling dead foxes and out-of-date milk. What is that awful reek, spluttered Tiesto. Oh, sorry, that's Ingrosso. He's been crying all night and we've only just managed to get him back off to sleep. Try not to wake him if you can. Van Buren shuddered. Angelo began to rack up lines on an old copy of Dave Pierce's Dance Anthems 2001. Van Buren looked about at the sorry state of the inside of Angelo's trailer. It looked like the trio had been living there for months, but Van Buren knew it had been spotless when he gave it to them not two hours ago. There was a contraption in the corner that looked like half a bicycle rigged up to a series of increasingly large dildos. He wasn't sure what it was, but it gave him both the creeps and a boner at the same time. The smell was making Tiesto edgy, and he could hardly see anything in the trailer with his shades on. He took a footstep towards what he thought was the door, and tripped and fell flat on his face. For the love of emotional synth stabs, what the fuck was that? It was Ingrosso, lying face down in a pool of his own ego. He came to briefly, rolled over and opened one eye at Tiesto. He let out a scream similar to a female fox in distress. And then he jizzed. <laughs>